A suspect makes his first court appearance facing charges of attempted murder for a confrontation that injured two Chicago police officers. Well, now his fiance is speaking out. Our Rob Sneed live the Cook County Criminal Courts building with an interview we will only see on WGN. Rob. Authorities held James calling in on temporary no bill. They say that he is still in the hospital recovering from his injuries. Now, today I spoke with his fiance just inside of the courthouse. Uh, she told me that she believes her fiance is innocent. He's not, you know, what they're painting him to be. Okay. He's a good, loving, caring father to, you know, my kids. And he's not, you know, the menace that they're trying to pay him out to be. Latrice Johnson says she's James Collian's fiance. They said that he tried to kill those police officers. What do you say? I don't think that's true. The 28 year old Chicago man is charged with multiple felonies, including attempted murder of a peace officer, aggravated battery with the firearm of a peace officer and unlawful use of a weapon by a felon following an exchange of gunfire Monday night in the 800 block of South Sacramento Boulevard. According to police, this all started when officers saw calling and commit multiple traffic violations. Authorities say CPD officers stopped calling his car. They say that's when he drove off, pinned an officer between two vehicles. Surveillance video shows the moment when one officer was pinned between the suspect's car and the police SUV. Authorities say gunfire erupted and Chicago police returned fire. One officer was shot in the left hand. One officer was released from the hospital yesterday. The other is still in the hospital with a serious leg injury. Calling and suffered a gunshot wound. Do you have a message for the, uh, for the victim's families, the, the two officers that are also recovering? Yeah, I... Um greatly feel bad for them, you know, that they have to go through the struggle with, you know, traffic stops and all of that matter. And, you know, it's just sad on both ends that, you know, because they still in the headlines don't have what he have actually got pulled over for. And his next court date is this Friday. Reporting live at 26 and Cal, Rob Sneed, WGN News.